Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to the Geekanoids Tech Byte where in this video I want to discuss with you the BlackBerry 10 launch which is due in just over a week's time with two new handsets and the BlackBerry 10 software. Now the two pieces of hardware that are rumoured to be launched are the Z10 which is going to be an all touchy feely affair and also the X10 which has both a touch screen and a physical keyboard. The new BlackBerry 10 software looks absolutely amazing. There is dynamic content on the home screen which automatically updates. You don't have to actually physically launch the application that you're looking at. And then there's also lovely swipe and touch gestures. You can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go into the true multitasking. And then there's something called BlackBerry Hub and this is probably the most interesting feature for me. What it allows you to do is with another gesture by swiping from left to right on the screen you can go into like a sneak peek of your messages and alerts and notifications. Now you can swipe all the way across to go into the hub and then this allows you to interact with it even further. The hub includes all of your social networking as well as your emails etc. Now the touch keyboard. BlackBerry have sort of tried to reinvent the way that we use an on-screen touch keyboard with predictive word suggestions and these pop up by the last letter or key that you pushed and then you can actually accept the suggestion of the word and flick it up the screen into your main message or email that you're composing. It's a really nice way of doing things, a new take on touch and I think BlackBerry could have got this very right indeed. And then we've got BlackBerry Balance. Now in its simplest form, you can think of this like profile switching. So you can switch between a personal profile and a work profile. Now this enables and disables various apps and services. So if you go into your work profile, you'll no longer be able to access things like Twitter and Facebook. And then when you've finished work for the day, you switch to your personal profile and you won't be bothered by those work emails and texts. I think this is a really good idea and if it's implemented correctly, BlackBerry have done a really good job trying to give you uh, one handset that you can use for both work and pleasure. Now add to this a super fast browsing experience, also a really cool camera feature called Time Shift and the new BlackBerry World for apps and they really could have a winner on their hands. Now choice is always good and at the moment we've got the likes of Apple and their iOS platform, we've got Google Android and of course we've got Windows Phone 8. Add to that BlackBerry 10 and if they get the hardware right this is going to get me super excited. I'm going to be bringing you more coverage of this on the Geek and Noise channel. Let me know your thoughts below, will you be giving BlackBerry 10 a try? I will see you all in the next video.